44 years of herbicide production have left severe traces in New Jersey. The Environmental Protection Agency found highly contaminated soil seeping into groundwater. Drinking water for 57,000 people in the area comes from the groundwater system. Mary Cochran has more. This 15-acre site housed arsenic used for producing weed killer. The plant closed in 1994, but it'll take years to clean up the mess. During violent chemicals operation, contaminants leached down into the swamp area behind us here and uh, contaminated the soil and the water in the swamp, killing a lot of the vegetation. The contamination was so bad, nothing could live down here, and it would actually put in danger the population in this area. The arsenic affected an area 28 miles downstream. The EPA is partnering with the Corps of Engineers to clean up the site. The whole 14-acre floodplain, including the creek, has been excavated, uh, treated, and backfilled. And thousands of plants were used to revegetate the area. Sand makes up the largest percentage in the soil matrix, allowing arsenic to seep deep into the groundwater. Uh, the groundwater plant we've actually captured and successfully treated over a billion gallons of water. Um, we've removed uh, you know, thousands and thousands of pounds of arsenic from the contaminated groundwater. Right here we, we have a clean sand coming out of the soil washing plant. It's been processed and it's coming out clean. Almost 400,000 tons of sand have been processed and now meet EPA regulations. The soil removal is, is 95% complete. Completing the groundwater cleanup will take years. Time that people on site say is well spent. Your grandmommy helped clean up the area that you live in. Not someplace across the world, across the country, someplace right here in the state that you live. I can stick my chest out and say, I've done something that is actually going to help the environment. Mary Cochran, Vineland, New Jersey.